Coming up on The Chase, IU Baseball hosted Wright State coming off a series win over Maryland. We've got the recap. Let's get going. Hey there, I'm Austin Matricardi. It's been a busy week in IU Athletics. Let's cut to the chase and look at this week's headlines. On Wednesday night, Indiana baseball hosted Wright State for a midweek matchup at Bart Kaufman Field. The Hoosiers hung with Wright State early, but ultimately Jeff Mercer's former team ran away with this one, winning 15-4 as Indiana dug too deep a hole for them to climb out of. After the game, Mercer spoke about his Raider reunion. It was, it was good to see him before the game started. And Obviously, once the game starts, it's, it's, it's another ball game, no team to compete against. But it, but it was good to see a lot of those guys. I mean, you, I love those guys, and, and uh, you have a great relationship. But once the game starts, you, you just go play. On Thursday, ESPN reported that Indiana freshman Romeo Langford has decided to declare for the 2019 NBA draft. The guard missed the entire NIT run with a back injury and led the Hoosiers in points with over 16 points per game this season. He also revealed that he suffered a thumb injury prior to the Duke game and played through it. Langford is scheduled to get surgery on the thumb, but he's expected to be ready to go for pre-draft workouts this summer. The Indiana softball team travels to Ann Arbor to take on Michigan this weekend, just one week removed from a convincing sweep of Michigan State. The Hoosiers outscored the Spartans 34-13 in the three-game sweep, one that was capped off by a 15-2 victory in the second leg of a doubleheader on Sunday. Despite the cold temperatures, the Indiana bats were hot as the team stayed loose and energetic, something head coach Shonda Stanton noted as an important response to dropping four straight games. You know, proud of our kids. It was cold, you know, and sometimes, it, you know, the bat stings and you don't want to really be out there. And I didn't see any of that. They were enjoying their hot chocolate in the dugout. They were having fun playing runs. It was a great weekend. Natalie Whalen's been tearing it up in the number two spot for the IU women's tennis team. Our Maxwell Sterling Glenn sat down with the senior to discuss her career and more. Maxwell Glenn here at the IU Tennis Center. I'm here with Natalie Whalen, bringing you the first edition of Tennis to the Max. Thank you for joining me, Natalie. Thanks for having me. So let's start off. You guys had a big road trip uh, on over spring break. You went to Hawaii to face the University of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. uh, how was that experience for the team? Um, I think everyone was just super excited to go to Hawaii, so it was just a lot of fun to be able to go there and have a good quality time, especially out in the sun, get a little bit of a tan going. Um, I know that Romero was pretty adamant about us, you know, competing pretty hard against Hawaii because it's super hard for us to go and play a team outdoors when we've been playing indoors the entire season, so he just wanted us to really focus on getting that, that win for us. And switching gears a little, you've come such a long way since freshman year and your injury at MSU. Um, what comes to mind when you think of those memories? Um, you know, kind of just growing into the person I want to be. Um, it's something that I didn't really think I'd be able to be in this position, especially because they, you know, they told me you're not going to be able to come back from an injury like that. So just honestly being able to be here right now is just, I'm super grateful. And, you know, just to try and enjoy the last, last few memories I have here as an IU athlete. Now, since it is your senior season, what kind of mark do you want to leave on the program? Um, you know, hopefully just a legacy that the girls will be able to look up to and follow. Um, there's a lot of just habits and stuff that we want to be able to kind of continue to, you know, have the team, you know, continue to have leading on into other generations and stuff. Whether it's work habits or, you know, school habits and stuff, we're hoping that they just, they're able to kind of follow in their footsteps. Is there something specific you want to be remembered by? Um, <laughs> I think it's hard just because like the the only people that are really going to remember you are the girls that are on your team right now. So I guess it's less about that and more so just about like how can I fit into the image that they want to portray as an IU student athlete on the women's tennis team. So you know hopefully they remember me as just someone that like kind of followed the rules and did everything they could to be a Hoosier. What has been your favorite memory so far during your career? I mean that win over Illinois was pretty exciting. Um, especially because we've been so close with a lot of those those good teams and to finally be able to pull one out was super exciting for us. So this year that was definitely one of my favorite memories. I mean, I think that spring break, spring break in general is always probably our favorite memories just because it's the best bonding time. We only have each other, so it's been pretty fun. Where do you think you leave the program? Are you excited for its future? Um, yeah, 100%. I think that because we've gotten a few good wins under our belt, it's allowed for better recruiting for the coaches. I think that they're really motivated to continue to lead the program in a better direction. So I'm hoping that 
Yeah, I'm hoping it goes in a better direction. I mean, it's a little bit daunting because all the other Big Ten, Big Ten teams are like improving a lot. So we've kind of continued to stay in the same place, even though we're improving every everyone else's too. So I'm hoping that we can start to like inch up and get up into the higher higher parts of the Big Ten. Looking past the end of the season, what's next for you? Um, I'm going to uh, Illinois Vet School in August, so it's easy for me to kind of put this behind me and separate out what do I want to do in the future just because I already have something to look forward to. So I'm super excited. It's a little bit nerve-wracking because it's definitely a different pace. I'm not going to be doing tennis or anything, but hopefully I'll still be surrounded by it. I'm kind of just excited to be close to the girls next year. I can come and visit a lot. So, yep. Finally, you're getting close to the end of this season. Do you have goals for yourself or the team as you move forward? I think they've been the same goals that we've had at like the beginning of the year is just to try to compete and prove to other teams that we are good enough just to be in the same position that they are. Um, I think you know a lot of individual goals are going to the NCAA tournament. I think that we have the capability of doing that as a team as well. So I think that's starting a goal that's becoming a little bit more realistic for us. Like, okay, it's happening. We, we were able to be a big team. Can we make it? Like, it's it's exciting. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for thank taking for the time, John. Well, there you have it, the first edition of Tennis to the Max. We'll catch you back on the court. There you have it. Another week of the latest on IU Athletics. If you want to keep chasing the latest on the Hoosiers, make sure to follow us on Twitter at IUSTV Sports and like the IUSTV Sports Facebook page. Until next time, I'm Austin Matricardi.